Welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today in this video we will learn about the Azure function and its uh, integration with the Visual Studio code. So this is the second part of the video guys. Uh, last week we have uh, uh, we have learned about uh, how to uh, what are exactly Azure function is and how to create a new Azure function via Azure portal. Okay. So in the second part of video, we will learn the same concept, but via VS code. Okay. So uh, this is my Azure portal and I have already opened my new instance of the VS code. So guys, before you start uh, creating your Azure functions uh, via VS code, first of all, you have to install some of the extensions which are already available in this application store. So those extensions are Azure account and uh, Azure functions, Azure resources. By the way, if you download the Azure resources, I, it will install uh, almost all the applications of the Azure, like Azure App Services, Azure Database. Although you don't require this, the main things which you require something is Azure resource and Azure functions. Okay, so you must install these applications first. Then after you install these two applications, you have to install one of the uh, one of the tool called Azure Functions Core Tool. So it's a Windows installer package which you can download via Google. Okay, so please install this tool as well. And uh, once you install it, then when you open the VS Code, you will be able to uh, see this kind of uh, navigation pane. Like uh, you get this icon. Okay, when you click on this icon, you will be able to see this kind of navigation pane where the first uh, uh, section is uh, showing you about your resources, like uh, whatever resources you are having currently on your Azure portal against your account. And then the second one is the local workspace. Okay, then uh, the thing is that first of all, uh, to start with currently, I've already signed in, but let's say, uh, this is your fresh installation. So uh, first I sign out. Now uh, this uh, uh, kind of window you will see after your fresh installation. So very first step is that you have to connect your VS code uh, with your Azure account. So let me click on the sign in. And now it will ask me about my Azure credentials. So let me select one. And that's it. You are signed in now and can close this page. And as soon as you sign in, uh, you will be, uh, it will present all your resources here. So currently you can see that this is my subscription plan called pay as you go. And then all my resources in the Azure. Like if I'm using any app service resource, Cosmos DB resource, function app, or any such thing like this. So if I uh, see this function app, Last week, we have created one uh, Azure function called D365DC, right? And it has one function also available called HTTP trigger one. So today, what we will do, we will develop a similar kind of Azure function for this function app, but via VS Code. So how to do that? So uh, to create a new Azure function, what you need to do is that you uh, go to your uh, local workspace section, click on the plus button and click on the create function. Okay, now uh, it is asking you that uh, do you have any already, do, are you really working on any existing project where you want to uh, create this Azure function or you want to create a new project altogether? So currently I'm not working on any of the applications, so uh, I can click on this button. Otherwise you can open your existing project as well. So let me click on the create new project. And now uh, anywhere like uh, for example, in the desktop even or in the documents anywhere, uh, let's say in a document only I, what I do is I create a new folder, my D365AZ function. Okay, so this will be my project 
let me select this now uh, it is asking us the language on which i want to create my azure function and last week guys we have learned that uh, azure function supports the following languages like python javascript typescript c sharp java and so on so let me select the python okay uh, i let's create a python project here so for example now as soon as you select that it is asking me that i should select a python interpreter okay manually or i can uh, go with the virtual environment i i just click on the manual enter python interpreter oh sorry uh, uh no need to uh, but i skip this virtual environment and then these are the different types of uh, uh, azure functions which we have seen last week but uh, for our al development we have to select the http trigger because we want to uh, connect our al uh, al project with the azure functions and get the output from the azure functions into our al project so that all we do via http trigger so we can click on this function and uh, now it's time to name our function i name it http trigger 2 press enter and now we have these three authorization level which we have learned last week so guys if you have not seen my first part of the video you can always watch that first so that you could understand the basic concept behind it and uh, now i will not uh, i will not uh, uh, describe what exactly these are uh, let me select the anonymous one and now it is asking me that where i would like to uh, create this one so uh, either i could add this to my current workspace open in current window open in new window okay so let me select add to workspace here and now you see i have my function created automatically for me right so this is my azure function called http trigger 2 and if you see this file this is the main file where my all code is available right so this is the thing here is your code uh, just like uh, last week we created a c sharp code in the azure portal in the same fashion it is a python code now and if you see that it has the this parameter called req through which uh, my function will start this is my main function and uh, for example uh, whatever name i pass uh, in this parameter uh, via a language or via any other thing it pass that information in this variable and if the name is not there it is uh, it is it, this code is nothing but an exception handling okay so so that you could not get any error or it just pass without any issue and now it says that if you have a name then a uh, function dot http response hello name this http trigger function is executed successfully otherwise you do not provide any name then it is it will run this message for you so this is the complete code and uh, for this guys when you create uh, your first project of python like this uh, generally you get uh, one error here in this package by default this package is not installed will not be able to uh, is is not installed in your machine and that's why uh, this compiler will uh, not be able to get that uh, what exactly this keyword is so it will show you a red line in this function so to remove that uh, error what you need to do is that you go to this requirement.txt file here all the packages which you want to use in your uh, project and they are not installed by default uh, in your environment so you can name all your packages here just like one package name is already written here as your functions but you can input multiple names here then to install all the packages which are a part of this file requirement.txt what you need to do is that you need to open the integrated terminal so let me open the integrated terminal here and then you have to run this command this command is python hyphen am 
pip install hyphen r requirement dot txt so guys pip is a package uh, pip is a is a tool uh, you can understand which helps to install all the python libraries in your project okay so here i'm telling this tool that uh, whatever packages are defined in my requirement dot txt file you have to install all the packages okay and just for your uh, information pypi.org uh, this uh, is a, uh, you can say uh, is a library which have uh, all the packages available from here here in this only you will it's it's like a marketplace where you will find all the azure uh, sorry not azure but the python packages libraries available so one of the azure function library which uh, is required to play with the azure functions you also find here and it is showing you that how to install this uh, package in your python project via pip install right so please uh, use this command in your terminal like here okay you need to just copy and paste this command here so that it will install all your packages mentioned in the requirement.txt file okay and as soon as you install it you will see that your error will be gone from here okay now this is my complete code in in order to in if you if you are if you know python language then you can and based on your requirement you can modify this you can modify this existing code and uh, do whatever you want to do okay so uh, now when uh, my complete uh, function or the code is written and I am ready to uh, deploy this function on my Azure portal. So what you need to do is that you need to again come here in the Azure portal, uh, Azure functions uh, icon. And then currently as you see that in my subscription only one function is available called HTTP trigger one. right and now my new function HTTP trigger 2 is still available in my local workspace so what uh, you need to do to deploy this here you just have to click on one button called this deploy just click on this deploy to function app and as soon as you click on it it will give you the list of all your functions app Right now I have only one function app that's why it is giving me this only click on it and now it will start the deployment process yes I would like to deploy click on the deploy and the deployment is start you can see and you can click on the output window as well to see the progress of your deployment. It will not take much time guys uh, because the package is very small and uh, so I believe that it will not take much time let's see once it deployed now then we will see the output also like just like the last week we have seen uh, how uh, we managed to uh, make a communication with our Azure function you will see that also. and uh, you can already see that deployment is already successful it is now syncing the triggers only and that's it click on the view output and now my HTTP trigger 2 is showing here okay so now if you see let me copy this just to see whether uh, I would be able to make or establish a connection with it or not so click on the new request and just paste the URL here in the header let me 
type in name pass the name it's a important parameter so you have to pass it click on the send button and that's it I'm getting the positive response and if I add name here as well and click on send so now this code is running so guys this is the way through which you can uh, you can deploy your Azure function uh, which you have written in the VS code directly to the uh, Azure portal and uh, that's only the motive of mine in the today's video which I would like to explain to you guys so I hope uh, guys you have understood the concept and you can now easily create uh, your new Azure functions in the VS code only and directly publish them to the to the Azure portal so that's it in the today's video I hope if you like the video then request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video